Okay, so this video is going to be on URL view, which is a very nice terminal tool I only recently ran across. I wish I had run into it uh, earlier. So the idea behind it is, um, so there are a lot of times where you have like links on your screen or links in the terminal in different places. And it's always sort of a pain in copying and pasting them into a browser or doing whatever you want uh, with them. Uh, URL view is a nice little tool that sort of makes that easier. Um, so the basics are, well, let me just show you how it works. So again, the basics, let's say we have some output on the screen. Uh, I'm just going to output my website. Um, so here, uh, we have a couple links here, and let's say I want to follow one of them. Now, what you can do with URL view is you just take any kind of output and you can just pipe it straight to URL view. And what URL view does first is actually takes that text and it finds all the links in it, all the URLs. Um, and then you can go up and down with Vim keys or arrow keys to choose which one you actually want. So let's say I want uh, this one. Uh, you can also, once you press enter, you can you know, modify it if you don't want, want to add something onto it or whatever. But after that, it's going to uh, take the link and feed it to a URL handler. I'll talk about mine in a second, but uh, mine is, so here we have our nice little link and that's all we have to worry about. Uh, so it's a totally mouse-free way of getting uh, links off the terminal. Now, of course, I've done here, I've catted something into URL view. That's probably not what you're going to be doing. Um, but uh, you can uh, basically cat, you can take the, what you have in your screen in Vim or Mutt or another terminal application and put it into URL view and uh, get the kind of things you want. Um, so I said, I'll show you how that works. I'll show you how to set that up in a second. But let me show you how a URL view actually works. Um, so it really, it's really just a parser that finds individual um, uh, links. Uh, but I'm opening up the config file for it now, just .url view. Uh, what it actually does is once it finds the link and once you select one, uh, it actually then has to look for another script or it has to decide what to do after that, right? So I've actually made my own uh, script called webview uh, that basically decides how to hand handle URLs because I don't want them all opening up in the browser. Let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so uh, let me go ahead and go to, so you web view. So web view is this nice little script I made that whenever I use URL view, it is using this thing. Um, so all this script does is it takes the extension and based on the extension, it's going to do something a little different. So l the reason I did this is sometimes, let's say I'm like using my RSS reader, um, it, which is in the terminal. Sometimes it has links to images. Now I don't want to open those images up in a browser. That's a waste of time. So what I have it do is, is I just have it sort of download them in my image viewer, which is fair. Uh, or if I have a GIF or like a, a, a movie file that I'm linked to, uh, it just opens it in MPV because I don't, I don't want to actually go to the web page for that. Um, and it also just W gets some things that, it, you know, if it's like a MP3 file, I usually just want that downloaded or a PDF file. I just have it W get it. Uh, everything else is just going to open it in the browser. Um, so anyway, that, that was a lot of talking, but let me just show you it in action. So I, I, I actually just emailed myself. So this is Mutt. Um, so I actually just emailed myself this little email with a bunch of links in it. So we can see that there's an image, there's a GIF, there's a PDF, and then there's the actual link to a, a website. So I've set it up in Mutt, so whenever I uh, type in uh, capital U, I get a uh, URL view. So let me click on some of these. So if I click on just the image, it's, I don't want it to open up a browser. It's just going to open up fast. So there it is. There's the image uh, that we can download. Um, well, it, technically it's already download, but it downloaded, but if you want to save it in case you don't know how fail where it works, you just press S and now it's saved. Um, so I can download, uh, uh, let's say the PDF or no, no, that was the GIF, but whatever. So there's our GIF. It's running in MPV. It's actually running on repeat. Um, and we'll go ahead and get the CV uh, and that's going to actually output. Yeah. So that outputs right into the home directory. Okay, so that's how you get different uh, files with URL view. Um, so how do I actually set this up in Mutt and other programs? Uh, it actually isn't too difficult. I'm gonna put the links to this in the video description uh, or really the, just the text of it. So in, uh, let's see, in uh, Mutt, for example, I really just set up this sor shortcut which Pipe, uh, Mutt can actually pipe things into external programs, and that's just what I tell it to do, so it's now piping into URL view. Simple enough. Um, I also have the same thing in Vim. Actually, let me go back. 
let me go back to this email. Let me save it. Um, and then I'm going to open it up. Oh, I didn't actually save it. Uh, let's say file. So now this is saved on my home directory, and I'm going to open this up. In Vim, I have the same kind of shortcut. If I, t uh, if I type leader u, it gives me the same menu. Uh, and to get that, um, you just have to throw this little line in your vimrc. Um, and the same thing, I also have one for newsbuter, yeah, new, or newsboat is what it's called nowadays. Uh, just if you want to see that, I think of a shortcut to that. Yeah, all you have to do is set a URL viewer, which it has as a built-in feature, and then set a uh, key to actually view those URLs. So I'll put the specifics in the video description. They'll, they'll also be on my config files on GitHub or whatever. But yeah, so this is a really nice way um, just of not, A, not having to use the mouse, B, of having a solution to links on the terminal that work basically for every term, I mean, for every terminal. You don't have to worry about anything else. So I don't have to run a terminal that has all this extra stuff just so you can click on links or something like that. Um, so I'll also say that URL viewer, um, just as an aside, if you want to do something a little crazy. So URL viewer, you can set what regular expression it's looking for with links. Um, so hypothetically, you could have a totally different reg regular expression that captures, you know, some something else. Maybe not a URL link. Maybe you know some kind of syntactic configuration in a programming language. And you could have it run a command, which doesn't have to be a web handler. It could be any other script just running some command on it. So that's just something for you to think about if you want to dive into that yourself. But anyway, so this is, I've only been using this thing a couple days, but it, it's, you, I could use it for life at this point. Um, so I, I actually really enjoy it. And I'm only upset that I didn't know about this before. So anyway, uh, hope you learned something. Uh, check the description for everything. I'll see you guys next time.